Well, here we go. This is the method you will be using to convert anything that's not metric to metric. Let me say again, you can use this with anything. If it's metric to metric, you merely move decimals back and forth, left and right. If either one or the other is not a metric measurement, here's the way to do it. In fact, I'm going to start out using some, well, some stuff not even in a medical setting to show you it'll work with anything. Doesn't matter what it is. And here, more than anything else, if you do it just this way, do not deviate from this. Do not be creative. Don't do your own thing. It's going to work out. So get the pattern down to the same thing every time. As I've said before, if you want to be creative, take an art class, go get a drama, a drama course, do something, but not in this class. Do it just the same way. Well, how about this? We have three and a half feet. Okay, what about the arm? I want to know, how many inches is that? Well, you could probably figure this out on your own, but here's the pattern. Here's the pattern. It won't always be that easy. Okay, take this in several steps. The first step, what I know, three and a half feet. Well, let's make it something like, oh, let me do orange. In fact, I wore my orange and blue shirt, uh, AC's colors. There we go. Use my orange thing here. So, write down... what you know. Then, put it over one, meaning we'll make a fraction. I hope you know, no, I hope you, you know this. Any number over one is just that number. Uh, four over one is just the number four. 10 over one is just the number 10. So we're making it into a fraction form, but it's still just the number three and a half feet. So put that over one. Now, we're gonna multiply by another fraction. So make the multiplication sign. In fact, if you do this exactly this way, you'll be fine. Put the line there. We'll put some numerator here. We'll put a big denominator here. I can say this. We'll put those in a, in a second. Just put the line first. Now, here's the deal. Whatever symbol or word, in this case, feet, that's on top, let's put it down here. So feet is up here. Let's put feet down there. What I'm looking for, inches, is going to go up on the top in the numerator. So inches goes up here. Once I get those words in, those symbols down, now let's put some numbers in place. And you know this. Tell me how many inches equal how many feet? What two numbers make that the same thing? Well, we know there are 12 inches in one foot meaning 12 inches equals one foot. Notice next what happens. The word feet, or the symbol feet on the top here, it's on the bottom. Now, stop, time out. Something else to realize. What if I had the number five over one and I multiplied by four fifths? Just plain, just a bunch of numbers. This five on top will cancel this five on the bottom. We've discussed this before. Well, you can cancel out words, and you will cancel out words. The word feet is up here, cancel that out. The word feet is down here, you cancel that out. So the symbols for feet, they're gone. They disappeared. Now let's do the math. Technically, we are multiplying two fractions. If I were to do this, you know, there's a one left, meaning if I divided both fives by five, that ends up with one. When you multiply fractions, here's why we discussed this before. You multiply the two top numbers and the two bottom numbers. Well, three and a half, of course, on your calculator, you need to talk about that or use that as 3.5. So get your calculator and take 3.5 times 12. Well, what's 3.5 times 12? Got my hand at end calculator here. 3.5 times 12 is 42. So this times this is 42. Now the bottom is just some ones. Ignore the ones. We could, could say 42 over 1, but that's just 42. But wait, what word or what symbol is still present? Inches. So it's 42 inches. That's my answer. I had determined that Three and a half feet is the same thing as 
42 inches. Now we're gonna do lots and lots and lots of these, get the pattern down. It's the same thing every time. So here we go. Become a robot, get in a rut. Ruts are wonderful if they keep you on the road, okay? Next one, five pounds. I wanna know how many ounces is that? Well, let's just set it up first. The rule, the pattern, the steps. What I know, five pounds. Write it down. See, I wish I could look out there and say, aha, I see what she's doing there. You should be, you should have that written down in your notes. Next thing, put it over one. Now your notes should look just like that. Nothing more, nothing less. We're now going to multiply by another fraction. Your notes now should look just like this. Let's next put in the symbols. Well, the symbol that's on top here, pounds, I'm going to put down on the bottom over here. I put pounds here. What I'm looking for, I'm going to put up here. Well, I'm looking for ounces. And I highly recommend, do it just this way. I've got symbols there, no numbers yet. Don't put the numbers yet, put the symbols first. But now I need to know how many ounces equals how many pounds. Now, historically, through the many years I've been doing this, uh, some students don't know this. Some baby weighs, you know, six pounds, five ounces. In case you don't know, you better know this. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So learn that one. Memorize that. 16 ounces in a pound. Well, that means one pound weighs 16 ounces. So there's 16 ounces in one pound. So put the numbers in place. And your notes should look just like this right now. If they don't, ooh, you're in a heap of trouble. And you're setting yourself up for failure. Do just like I'm saying. Okay. Now let's cancel out the words. There's our symbols. There's one on top, one on the bottom, and one on the top. Cancels out the same one on the bottom. Ooh, pounds are gone. Now here we go again. The five is on the top, the numerator of this fraction. The 16 on the top, the numerator of the other fraction. So multiply 5 times 16. Well, that should be 80, but to prove it, 5 times 16. Ooh, 80. He's good. So 5 times 16 is 80. 80 what? Last man standing. Whatever symbol is up there is the symbol that I'm using. So I know that 5 pounds is the same thing as 80 ounces. Those are equivalent measurements. I've not converted this into that. Let's do a few more. Uh, well, a few more. One more in this setup. We'll have, many, have another, several of these video lecture series uh, where I do more and more and more until you're sick and tired. Okay. I have, hey, the little T means the smaller of those little spoons. That's the teaspoon. Big T is the bigger one, tablespoons. So first, just put them down. What I know, nine teaspoons, or I could say TSP, that's acceptable. Put it over one. Now multiply by our second fraction. What goes where? Whatever symbol is up here on top goes on the bottom of the other one. Put teaspoon down there. What I'm looking for, tablespoon goes on the top. I could use TBS up there too. Now we discussed this before in the previous video. You better know this one also. Tablespoons the bigger one, teaspoons the smaller. There are three teaspoons in each one tablespoon. What's going to cancel? What words, what symbols will cancel out? Why teaspoons? Teaspoon on top here, teaspoon on the bottom there. Cancel those out. Oh, now, whoa, this is a little different. Notice, back to this, up here, the non-one numbers. Well, there's a one, there's a one, forget the ones. The non-one numbers, in this case, are both on top. I multiply those. Same thing here. Forget the ones, they don't count. The non-one numbers, is that a word? I don't know. They're both on top. Well, here, though, ooh, there's one non-one number on top, another one on the bottom. Now, technically, if you had... 9 over 1 times 1 over 3, you multiply the two top numbers, 
get that. You multiply the bottom numbers, you get that. The simplest way, though, recall, if you did do 9 times 1, that's 9. 1 times 3, that's 3. That's 9 over 3. By the way, I'm doing some uh, air math here. There is air guitar, there's air quotes. I'm doing some air math. You got that? See that? If it were 9 over 3, as I've said before, any fraction is a division problem. You take the top, divide by the bottom. Let's make it even simpler. Back to the original. There's a non-one number on top. There's another one on the bottom. I merely do 9 divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3. I don't even need my calculator. The answer is 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 tablespoons. Back up a second. Again, the math involved is what? If the two numbers that are not the number 1 are on top, I multiply. This times this is it. Same thing here. I multiply 5 times 16 to get 80. Here, the non-1 numbers, 1's on top, 1's on the bottom. So I take 9 divided by 3. Mm -hmm. Now, don't go do any homework yet. I got a lot to discuss here before you really want to start the homework. So go straight on in to the next video and look at that. I got a lot to discuss here. Plus, here's what you probably ought to do first. There is something there. It's going to be, I don't know what I've titled it, uh, medicine cup, I think it says. There's a picture of a medicine cup. Get the medicine cup picture, print that out, or at least get it somewhere on your cell phone to look at while I do the next video lecture. That'll come in really handy, and you need to have that with you to look at. Well, goodbye. I'll see you later, whenever later is. For me, I'm going to go eat lunch probably.